Good morning, I'm James Lopez, president at HomeFi Corporation, and this is today's mortgage market update. Now, the big news today, the U.S. is set to announce a ban on Russian oil imports. Um, now, this news was already kind of uh, known at the time the markets opened today, um, so we saw kind of an immediate pricing um, towards the lower for mortgage bonds as markets open. Bonds are down today, about 30 basis points at the time of recording, and the 10-year yield is up about eight, eight basis points. And this comes after a, a sell-off yesterday in the mortgage bonds under, under pressure from rising commodity prices and, and inflation. Um, so um, kind of a double whammy from yesterday to today on, on mortgage bonds. Um, what this means for mortgage interest rates is going to be we'll see prices open up uh, probably mortgage rates open up probably a little higher today and there could be um, there could be some repricing as the day goes on just depending on how um, the the markets adjust to the news of this import ban on Russian oil now Russian oil makes up about eight percent of the US oil consumption um, so it's it's a hit to the US oil consumption uh, but the news that's going to be really important um, is going to be if other countries follow the lead that the U.S. sets on that. Now, another news today, um, a data report is due out today. It's the Wholesale Inventory Data Report. It's done by the Census Bureau. And this is an in, a data report that um, it's a voluntary report month, month to month um, from U.S. merchant wholesalers. All right, So it's a wholesale inventory report. And uh, what this does is it's, it's used as an input to, to measure GDP, and it's also used as an input to kind of take a look at what the near-term economic growth is or, or economic um, you know, status is. Um, so it's kind of near-term economic data. Now, as the day goes on, um, if anything, any other news comes out today, we'll let you know. That's all we've got for today. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.